He has a face. Oh, police control. There's no harm in driving here. See, I can do it too. Not going to do it full chat through this corner. Don't know what's behind it. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this review by Autodop NL. My name is Max, and yes, he has a face. It's here, like all of your faces. It's in the same spot. It just looks a little bit different. Um, we are testing out something new today because we have listened to you. We have read a lot of comments saying that you don't like the POV angle, that you get seasick watching it, and that you don't really see uh, the proportions and the details of the cars. So today we're going to test out a new format because we wanted to also upgrade the image quality. So today I'm going to walk around it as always, show you all the features of the car. We'll take it for a drive along this beautiful road and take it for an Autobahn blast. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload a new video. And follow us on Instagram at autotopnl. Okay, so we are going to start at the front because this is the most controversial part of the 7 Series. And this is actually the second time we are driving the new generation 7 Series, the facelifted one. And I have to say that I'm already getting used to it. I kind of like it even. I think, you know, yes, they are very big, but the kidneys, of course, the kidney grill is huge. But if you would now get an older 7 Series, so a pre-facelift, put it next to this one, it would look old and dated because this looks so different, so modern and so in your face. I really love those new headlight units. Uh, this has the BMW laser lights, so that means that you get these blue lines in the headlights, which looks really cool. Uh, these are so aggressive, these new units. I really love them. We've got an M760 Ally today, so that means that we've got all these cerium grey accents on the grille, in the front bumper, all around the car, the mirrors. It really looks awesome, especially because this is a carbon black car. So one of my favorite colors, uh, looks absolutely stunning. So I've told you that in the 745 LE review, I think that this is mainly for the Chinese market. Uh, the people in China really love this. They love like a big imposing grill and 44% of 7 Series are sold in China. So you gotta give it to BMW. I understand why they did it. Okay, moving on uh, to the wheels. So we have, as I said, an M760 Ally. That means that we get these M Performance wheels. This is 21 inch, I believe. Oh, 20 inch uh, in cerium gray as well with some M Sport brakes behind that. It's all part of the job, guys. Okay, cerium gray, as I said, on the mirror caps as well. We've got a cerium gray inlay on the side. This is actually also new with the facelift. It used to have this hockey stick shape. This part used to be a bit angled. It's now straight up and straight down. So that's a difference for the facelift. Uh, of course, long wheelbase version, only available on the M760 Ally. There's no 760i, uh, which means you get 14 centimeters wheelbase extra, which is a lot. At the rear, we've got some new LED light units which look really really good it also has a led bar running across m760 li badge serum gray accent on the rear as well i absolutely love the rear of this car i think it looks really muscular and just awesome look at those exhausts that's a beautiful shape i know it's fake it's just an a, a piece on top of the bumper and the pipes are in there if it's like this, I'm okay with it. Okay, so let's get to the business end of this car. The rear seats. We've got beautiful dark brown leather. Looks absolutely stunning. And this car also has the executive lounge. So that means that we have these awesome adjustable seats. So you can really get into like a lounging position. Everything is adjustable. It has heated and ventilated seats in the rear as well. And of course, you guys know that 
there's this little tablet in the center console to operate everything. So you can select car, you can do the sun shades, open everyone or close them individually. Open that one too. I've shown you guys this like 10 times already, so just wanted to do a quick update. Uh, there's no, no real changes here, just this quilted leather. And I, I think that's, that's it for this facelift. It is a very, very big facelift, but only on the outside. So let's move to the front. Which is absolutely lovely. And the car greets you with a V12. Hello. Which is awesome. We've got another V12 badge on the center console. Leather everywhere. So even on top of the doors, it is absolutely everywhere. And I really love this combination of brown and darker brown with that aluminium, that black piano black inlay. I guess it's time to drive. Let's go. I want to see the engine. Oh, yeah. Let's go check out the engine. So there it is, 6.6 .6 liter V12 by turbo with 585 horsepower. Yes, uh, because of emission regulations in Europe, they had to downgrade this engine. So uh, it now delivers 585 instead of the 610 it used to have. But it did gain 50 newton meters of torque. So it went from 800 to 850. Um, it does, however, mean that the zero to 100 time went from 3.7 seconds to 3.8 seconds. But if you live in the US, you get the old spec. So you get the 610 PS, 600 horsepower, and you get the increased torque as well. That's the best of both worlds. Uh, so zero to 60 of the US version is like 3.6, which is pretty insane. Okay, so let's go and drive it. We've got a new camera set up for that as well. So I'm curious to find out what you guys think. So let's go. This is our new setup for inside the car. Uh, please do let us know in the comments if you like it or not. I think we will still use the POV review setup if we have less time or if I'm alone. Um, but for now, we're going to try this out and see what you guys think and what we think as well, because we have to like it as well. Okay, so driving the M760 Li, well, what is it like? We are going to switch to sport mode, sport plus, throw it in, and this freaking boat of a limo will just stick in the corner. It is ridiculous how well the chassis is set up on this car. The suspension, it's just insane that you can do this with a car this heavy, with that insanely heavy V12 in the front as well. Uh, but it is a lot of fun and it does really illustrate the crazy duality that this car has. If you have it in sport mode, it's actually, you know, you get some sound in here. It's crazy fast. But if you go to comfort mode, everything quiets down, the, the air suspension raises and it becomes this little cloud of comfort. You waft on to your destination. So if you want to see the performance measurements we did with our Dragon GPS performance meter, click in the top right corner to check it out. So I'm going to stay in comfort mode and see if you can actually drive this car a little bit at speed as well in comfort mode. If it's not too, no, it's not too bad. It, it does roll a little bit and it is a little bit bouncy, but it's actually not bad. Okay, let's go to sport mode again. Sport plus. Oh, this, this thing has so much torque. As I said, even more than before, but the way this thing pulls like in fourth gear, it's crazy. 
it's absolutely insane. You just have this surge. It doesn't matter in which gear you are, it will pick up, which is pretty awesome. So we are getting near the Autobahn. I'm going to oh, police control. We're in the clear. Okay, so we are going to check it out on the Autobahn. This car actually has the driver's pack, the M driver's pack. So that means that the top speed is 320, I think, on the speedo. 318, I believe we did before. So let's see if we can still get there with 585 horsepower instead of 610, right? That's a good test. So full throttle, I'm in Sport Plus mode, so we're in the lowest mode and the suspension, the damping is at its firmest, but still, I mean, it's super comfortable. Does seem to be a little bit busy. So while we have a little bit of time, while this freaking truck is overtaking, let's think about the M760 Li. Does it even have, you know, a right to exist? Well, I think it does because I absolutely love a V12 in a big limousine. I think it's just the best ever. And I really applaud BMW for still using it, for still putting it in here, even though the original version didn't pass the EU regulations. And I also think that this will be the last V12 7 Series, V12 BMW. But now more than ever with this facelift, it has competition from within BMW because the new 750i has the new 4.4 liter V8 by turbo with 530 horsepower instead of the 450 it used to have. So it's only a 55 horsepower gap between the 750i and the M760 Li, which is not that much. And it is a lot more expensive than a 750i. So there's only one reason to buy this car really, and that is the fact that it has a V12. So I don't think that a lot of buyers are going to switch to the 750. But still it's interesting to see that the gap is, has shrunken by this much. So next to this M760 Li, you can also get the V12 Excellence version, which is basically an M760 Li without all the M gimmicks, without all the M exterior stuff uh, and without all the M interior stuff. So you have like this super chic version of the M760 Li and it's a little bit more like under the radar. I absolutely love that one. So let's see if we can time this right. Nope, we cannot. People, you can drive on the right as well. There's no harm in driving here. See, I can do it too. Thank you. That's one. Hello, Mr. Volkswagen. Thank you. Okay, no, give that van a little bit more space. And then we can try it. Yes. See, that's what I meant by timing it right. If you time it right, then everyone suddenly moves over and you get this little bit of stretch for the M760 to really, <laughs> to really do its thing. I mean, look at how fast this is going and how easily and how comfortable. That's 300. Not going to do it full chat through this corner. Don't know what's behind it. So a little bit of caution. Okay. M760 
760 Li is probably one of the easiest cars to drive 300 plus with. It is so stable, so comfortable. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's three, eight, nine, braking. So, that actually worked out pretty well. I was not expecting to get a gap, but three nine is respectable, I would say, in this traffic. So as you can see, the truck here decided that we're done, basically. So I'm going to end it here. This is the border as well. So we're getting into the Netherlands where fun is not allowed. Uh, but before we end it, I just want to ask you to vote on the poll in the top right corner there, right? Yeah. Um, and let us know if you prefer the old POV review setup or if you prefer this setup so we can decide what we're going to do. As I said, I think we're going to use the POV review setup anyway if we don't have enough time to do this or if I'm alone. Uh, but it's good for us to know whether you guys like this kind of stuff. So, thanks very much for watching. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this POV review or go check out this playlist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.